So the other day we were talking about the midpoint formula, uh, which found the midpoint of a line segment where we knew the endpoint coordinates a and b, so x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. So we were able to find the midpoint right in the middle. With this point of division formula, we can find the point located along any part of this line, provided we know the ratio um, between these two line segments. Now the ratio is often given to us in terms of a fraction, and that ratio is often A over B. Now, if we are looking to find, let's say we're doing any, now, the formula for this, for our point P, we need to take our x1, and we're going to add our a over b times our x2 minus x1. Similar with the y, we're going to have y1 plus a over b times y2 minus y1. So let's do a little example here. Let's say we have coordinate a which is 1 and 1 and then we have coordinate b which is 4 and 4 and we want to know the point p at, uh, let's say we want to know it uh, 2 thirds of the way along. So this is our A and then this is our B. This is our X1, Y1, and X2, Y2. So let's put it into our formula. So our X1 is positive 1 plus 2 over 3 times, uh, and we're going to do 4, which is X2, minus 1. And then we're going to do the same thing with our y1, so it's going to be plus 1 plus 2 over 3, and it's going to be y2, which is 4, minus y1, which is 1 here. So let's always do inside the brackets first. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now since these two are the same, they're going to be the same coordinates, we don't have to really do all the work, we can just copy what we've written here. Now you're going to take this and you're going to multiply it. So you're going to do 2 divided by 3 if you don't have the fraction button. If you do have the fraction button, please use that in this case. So you're going to do uh, 2 over 3 times 3 and that will give you 2. And then here, when we add these two together, we end up with the coordinates 3 and 3. Now, let's try an example like this with a graph. So here, uh, this is negative 3, negative 4, and this is positive 3 and 0 x1 and uh, y1, and then x2, y2. Now let's say we want our point at one-fourth of the way along. So our x1 is negative 3 plus 1 over 4 times 3 minus negative 3. And then we're going to take our negative 4, which is our y1, we're going to add 1 over 4 times 0 minus negative 4. So keep that negative 3. Let's do inside the brackets first. 3 minus negative 3 is going to give us positive 6. And then over here, 0 minus negative 4 is going to give us positive 4. So, now let's do our multiplication. 
So we have negative 3 plus 1 over 4 times 6. This will give us 1.5. Then we have negative 4 plus 1 over 4 times 4, which is going to give us 1. And the last step, now the last step is to add this up. So negative 3 plus 1.5 is going to give us negative 1.5. And negative 4 plus 1 is going to give us negative 3. And this is our answer. So this is how you would use the point of division formula to find any point located between our point A and B here.